free AI super agent, how to automate anything. So using VY, which just launched via facet.com, I let AI hijack my Mac and now I'm automating everything. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you something insane. A brand new AI that can literally control your computer. This isn't just like another chat GPT window. You can see here that actually interacts with your whole Mac. This is basically AI taking over your whole desktop. Watch as I let this AI agent write SEO articles and pages, create presentations and keynote, and even have full conversations with chat GPT all without touching my mouse once. But here's the crazy part, this AI understands how to use apps better than most humans. And if you've never used an app before, no problem. You can get VY to do it using this AI super agent to figure it out instantly for you. Now you can download it for free and today you learn how it writes 1,900 word SEO articles automatically, the shocking limitations when it fails, you'll be surprised. How it can automate basically any app on the Mac, the secret to making it work 10 times better and why this changes everything for busy entrepreneurs. This isn't science fiction anymore. This is happening right now. I've got the full setup guide that you won't find anywhere else. So today, what we're gonna be doing is running through VY, which is a new AI super agent. Now, this basically allows you to control the interface for your Mac. So basically, it can interact with apps on your desktop. It is completely free from what I see so far. And basically, it's, if you were just clicking buttons on your laptop, trying to open stuff up, etc., then instead, what you can actually do is get Vi to do this. Now, the difference between a human and Vi is that Vi actually understands how to use apps more than most people, right? So for example, if it's an app you've never used before, you have no idea how to use app. But VY is programmed so that it can actually open up apps that you've never used before, that you don't understand, right? And that's the bigger difference here is it's AGI level because essentially what it can do is it can interact with things that most humans don't know how to, right? Especially if someone's not that, for example, tech or something like that. So we're gonna get straight into using this. If you wanna download it, the way that you can get access is via vercept.com, V-E-R-C-E-P-T.com. It's available for Mac, so you can download it for Mac, as you can see right here. And we've also got a full SAP inside the AI Profit Boardroom, so make sure you get that, link in the comments description. And essentially, what we can do from here, it's just been launched, brand new, by the way. Just been, just came out like a few days ago. And essentially, once you've set it up, you're just going to go to VY, like you can see at the bottom here. And the one caveat that I'm going to say to all of this is it's not very good at using Google Chrome. So the way that you want to be using this is on actual apps inside your Mac or your laptop or whatever, right? So for example, let's just do a very basic test run. If we say, and I'm just going to shut down Descript over here. If we say, for example, okay, go to Descript, and I'm just going to take a prompt from the AI Profit Boardroom. Let's see what we can do. Go open D script, write a new script for me and generate the audio for it, right? So we're going to do that. Open up a new project. And you can see we've asked it to work its magic. Now, I'm not touching my mouse or anything like that. You can actually see what it's doing step by step here. I don't seem to be able to zoom in on this, so I can't make it any bigger for you, I'm afraid. Essentially, you can see over here, it's opened up D script now and it's creating a new project. It's gone back to Descript. It's opening up the application. And then it said, let's start by creating, by clicking on the create with AI speaker section. And basically what it's gonna do is start using the app for us, right? Let's see if this actually works. Now it's selecting the AI speech option and it should be typing in a short script in a minute. Let's see what we get. Alex says, is this better than Scout? It's more for using applications on your laptop, whereas, for example, Scout is more like in its own virtual environment, if that makes sense. Samarf says, is it only available for iOS? That's right. So right now it's only available for Mac. And CryptoMark says, which AI agent is this? This is using something called VY for SEPT. Full SAP inside the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to set up instructions for this and the full SAP. But essentially you can see how it works step by step. Let's try something a bit simpler. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say, open up ChatGPT, have a conversation about how AI could take over the world with autonomous AI super agents. So we'll go back to VY here. We'll select that, hit enter legs. And it's opened up ChatGPT as you can see. Now it's gone to the conversation section and it's writing inside the conversation section says let's have a discussion about how ai could potentially take over the world technical requirements blah 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 let me x off that and it's actually having a conversation 
directly with AI, right? So it can conversate and it can instruct ChatGPT directly by opening up the app and then going inside the chat box and just typing in prompts, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. So now you can connect AIs to different AIs. Obviously, using this sort of program, you got to be careful, right? So you don't want to install this on like a local computer where you have private documents stored. You have to be careful about the security impact here. Obviously, be careful with your data. Like it could be dangerous if you got in the wrong hands or if you went down the wrong route. But you can see how powerful this is and how easy this is to start going back and forth with, for example, ChatGPT or that sort of thing. And then it's going back and forth and actually typing inside the prompt section here. Ask more questions, right? To take it another level. So essentially what you can do is just get this AI to take over your laptop. It is very impressive. The one thing, like I said before, is that you wouldn't use it on Google Chrome. Not very good on Google Chrome when I tested it yesterday. But for actually using applications directly in the chat here, it's pretty crazy. For example, it's now generating images using this process. And the way that it works is it figures out the steps that it needs to do, opens up the app, and then it just captures the screen, right? So it's taking a screenshot every time, probably using something like Claude Computer used to do this, and then it can just generate stuff. Like, for example, it's generating now this image about super agents, AI super agents taking over the world. <laughs> Crazy stuff. And it also seems to be able to figure out, okay, if it needs to wait or not. So you can see here it says, I can see the chat GPT is still generating the flowchart and adding details. Let's wait a bit longer for the complete response. So if you want to have a, a, this could be really powerful because for example, anything that you're automating with chat GPT, VY could probably do it better because it can instruct chat GPT on exactly how to operate and what to do next, et cetera. And usually, you know, AIs, because they understand other LLMs and they understand how to communicate with other LLMs, typically the results you're going to get back are going to be more interesting and, and more detailed. And, you know, it's going to cover things that you probably wouldn't think about as a human when you're going back and forth with the AI. This is crazy stuff. I'm going to stop it there. But you can see the full process here. So this is the full conversation. It's generated a response there. Open up chat GPT itself. Generate some images. Plus some full information on AI agents and how they could take over the world. And then also in this section here, you can actually watch back the video. So you can play back the video here if you want to see what happened and how it did it, etc. It took 3 minutes 40 to generate that response, which is not that fast. But I can imagine when this is out of beta then it's going to get even better, right, as we go along. Also, what you can see here is you can actually open up the video file inside the recording. So you can watch back the recording here. If you just let this AI agent go off for an hour and then you went off, made a cup of tea and came back, wouldn't recommend it. But if you did that, you could see exactly what happened whilst you were getting the responses and whilst you were not there, right? So you can see the whole screen recording. Pretty crazy stuff. Let's keep going now. If you want to start a new chat, you can click like this. If you have two different devices, let like you see I have two different displays, then you can select between them and just select which ones you want to use. And also you can see here, you can go back between the different histories and the different chats that you created, right? So let's try another one now. It worked really well with ChatGPT. Open up numbers and create an SEO website tracker for my site. And we'll just put the site like julianglory.com with rankings, keywords, etc. Marsh says, if it's not available on Windows, then it's boring. But one thing I would say is for me personally, I haven't used Microsoft for years. It's been a long time since I used Microsoft. I don't know many entrepreneurs still using Microsoft. All right. One thing I'm just going to say inside here, we're just going to stop that. And I'm going to go back up here and say, open up the numbers app. Because if for some reason it opened up the folder which is not what we want, right? I'm going to cancel that. So it's going to create a blank template spreadsheet. Now it's clicking on create. Heavy T says, partner with me. I have too many contracts. Trying to hire. I can't find anyone. Yeah, if you want to, what we can do is we can white label for you, right? So we work with a lot of clients doing AI automation for them. If you want some help on that, we've got a link in the comments and description to book in a call about that. Feel free to book in a call and we can help you white label your projects. So. We have a team that can help you with AI automation. We already work with a lot of clients. And the way that works is if you've got too many contracts, you basically get us to do the work. You take a profit in between and we do all the work for you. To be fair, with this one is totally failing, right? So I'm not going to be SEO and tell you it's amazing if it's not. So far from what I can see, 
it's really struggling with numbers on the spreadsheet, right? So it doesn't seem to be able to operate numbers to create new spreadsheets, trackers, etc. It has created a new page now, but let's see how long that takes and whether it can actually do its magic. Marshall Live says, I do agree. I share with you guys one thing how addictive AI tools are, especially if you feel unstoppable in terms of ideas. I would agree with that. It's like the amount of possibilities just increase every single day and it becomes more and more inspiring. By the way, if you're watching this video back and you want to jump on live calls, feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description to get on live calls about AI. Yeah, it seems I'm going to stop it there because it seems really bad at operating numbers <laughs> from what I've seen so far. So let's try a new chat now. It totally failed at numbers. It did really well inside chat GBT. It managed to operate Descript as well. Let's try another one now. So you can say open up pages and write the best possible SEO optimized article you can about SEO training. Let's see if it can do that. And Marsh says, I struggle to find people to talk to about AI. That's why you should join the AI Profit Boardroom. It comes with 630 members all interested in AI, right? So if you want to learn this stuff, if you want to find more about it, etc., then just join the AI Profit Border. It comes with weekly Q&A calls, comes with an amazing community. That's the best place you can learn about this stuff. All right. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible at using numbers as well. It's totally failed with that. I couldn't even open up a new document. We're going to close that. I'm just going to close numbers at the bottom here. Now we're going to say, okay, open up Sketch and draw a diagram for me. So it's open up Sketch fairly easily. Link in the comments and description to the AI profit bordering, by the way. So let's see if we can actually get it to type inside pages here. And there we go. Look at that. This is actually written a full article in Markdown for the content that we wanted, which is pretty crazy. That should be neatly marked up as well. And then it's clicking to save it here. I'm just going to hit save on that. And we'll stop that task. That is actually pretty impressive, to be fair. So let's open that up. We'll do it on Markdown Live Preview, and we'll just see how that performs. So this is the article that it created inside Pages. It's created like neatly. The content itself is not great, to be honest with you, but it's not bad at all. How long is that article? 929 words. It wrote it in Pages, saved the whole document, formatted it neatly, and wrote exactly on the topic that we wanted to. That was pretty crazy. It only took 1 minute 18 to actually get that task completed which is crazy stuff. Let's try this as well. So maybe the best way to do it is not to actually get it to open the application. You open the application yourself, you create a blank document, and then it can go off and do its magic. So for example, let's start a new chat here and we'll say journal a day in the life of an AI super agent. So it's now right in the title, a day in the life of an AI super agent. And now we can see what it's thinking. So let's see what we get back here. I do the fact that you don't need any coding skills to install this, right? Or any sort of techie setup. So you're not using terminal or anything like that. You're literally just telling the AI what you want, downloading a quick problem. And then you can see here that it actually comes back to you with, you know, what it's doing. So it says 5.30 AM activation sequence. My processing cause word to life is my scheduled activation sequence initiated. And then it's breaking down exactly what it did on Monday, May the 5th. Pretty crazy. Again, I'm not touching the screen or doing anything involved in this. So very interesting stuff. We'll stop it there. But yeah, I think th there's two things there. So number one, just make sure you do have the application open for stuff like this. Otherwise, it's going to struggle to create new documents and that sort of thing. But, you know, you're all good. So far, we've got it to journal, write SEO articles and have a conversation about life with ChatGPT directly. It's also written a nicely SEO optimized article. As you can see, what else can we do? So now I'm going to say, okay, generate a short podcast script about SEO, write it inside script. Let's see if we can manage that. So we're going to hit into, it's now outlining the podcast script and it seems to have totally got stuck there. So it should be simple. Like it is struggling with basic stuff, to be honest with you. If we take, for example, like all it needs to do is take that content, plug it in there, paste it in, boom, and then click done writing, right? So it doesn't seem to be like 100% ready to 
take over the world yet. I wouldn't say it is scary in a way, but it's just not ready in terms of being exactly where it should be when it comes to AI super agents. So it's impressive, but it's not like going to take over humans anytime soon. I would give it probably six to 12 months minimum before it really starts to do some damage in terms of overtaking humans and that sort of thing. Shout out to Daily Driver for the tip. And Ab says, how much money do you spend on subscriptions in different AI services? Have you been able to settle on a particular ID? So for me, my favorite ID is Visual Studio Code. I spend a lot on subscriptions, but I'm not your average person because literally for me, like I have to show these new tools on YouTube every single day. And so of course I'm going to spend more than a normal person on subscriptions and that sort of thing. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all my video notes from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This comes with a full SAP on the how to use it, all my video notes, some example prompts, etc. Plus, if you like AI super agents, particularly free ones, then I've got tons of training on that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more free leads, customers, and sales to your business with SEO, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. So on that free call, you will get a free custom tailored game plan to your business. You'll be able to ask any questions you have about ranking inside Google or other AI search engines. Additionally, you'll just learn how to grow your business, even if you don't become a client. So feel free to book that in link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching.